blood tests, saliva tests. You know, as a conventionally trained physician, the truth is that I've been told and trained and believe that blood testing is the only way to go in order to understand what's going on inside a person. The truth is that it's not true. The truth is that after practicing medicine for over 30 years, I can tell you that the blood tests are only as good as they actually reflect what a person is feeling. So I listen to the patient. I look at the patient. I pay attention to the patient. And I teach you to learn how you feel, learn to communicate how you feel. Because if you can explain to me what you feel and how you're feeling, then actually I can be a better doctor than if I just sit there staring at the blood tests and treating blood tests. Blood tests represent a moment, a snapshot in time. They don't really represent what's going on in your body. You're alive. Dynamic change in your life actually is not reflected by a snapshot in time. It's like taking a picture of a movie. Which one would you rather do? The movie is you. So it becomes important to understand that you determine the kind of care you get. What you demand, what you expect, and what you get from the doctor is what you've actually put in, your own expectations. If you feel good about yourself, if you can communicate well with the doctor, and the doctor respects and serves you, you're going to do well. Blood tests, as far as I'm concerned, if they reflect what you're telling me, I'll use them. If they don't, I'll toss them away. Also, saliva testing has no scientific basis. The North American Menopause Society, as, as well as any other medical society that is based in science, agrees that saliva testing has no scientific basis. So stop wasting your money on saliva testing, please. Listen to you, listen to your doctor, and share the information between the two of you only based on communication.